From NPR News, this is All Things Considered. I'm Audie Cornish. When Jeff Barilaro came home from fighting the war in Iraq, he felt the way many returning vets do. In a word, lost, because he didn't have a mission anymore. But now he's found one through music. Barilaro raps. His stage name is Soldier Hard, and he raps about how the wars have changed troops and their families. As NPR's Daniels Wordling reports, now other vets and family members are turning to Barilaro's music because they say it speaks to them. I stopped by the National Guard Armory recently in Evansville, Indiana. It's morning, and it sounds like any military base in the country. Most of them are still in high school, and they're getting ready to go to basic training when they graduate. Tuck in your shirt. First floor, Cal, let's go. One, two, three, four. But when I come back to the armory that night, they've turned the training center into a concert hall. They've set up a stage in the gym. They've turned the lights down low. You almost don't notice the howitzer cannon parked along the wall. They're celebrating the new recruits with a show. If you want to gather toward the stage, we're going to get the show started. And the crowd parts because Jeff Barilaro rides up to the stage on a Harley Davidson. <laughs> Barilaro has huge shoulders. He's bald, covered with tattoos. Before I get started, let me introduce myself. I go by the name of Soldier Hard. I did 10 years in the United States Army. All right, this first song I'm going to do right now is called Boots Laced Up, and I tell our stories. Let's go ahead and slap that. One young woman in the audience says she drove an hour and a half to get here. She's making a three-hour round trip just to hear Soldier Hard. My name is Katrina Graves, and I've been a fan for a while. Graves is wearing tight jeans, crazy high heels. She says she teaches special ed. Her boyfriend went to Iraq, and while he was off fighting, she stumbled on Soldier Hard's music on YouTube. She kept listening to his rap called military wife. That was what I was going through, deployments, homecomings, you know, separation. It showed me other people were going through this, other women were going through this. It just really touched my heart. Soldier Hard is 35. He grew up near San Francisco. He says he knew he'd be a soldier when he was 12. Practically all the men in his family were military. It was just, it was just, it, it was the best thing. When I saw the men in uniform, I just, I wanted to put on the boots. And he did, right after high school. Barilaro left the Army four years later. He went back to civilian life. But then came 9-11. It was about, I, I got to get back in. I got to leave everything back home because my buddies are out there right now. Send me out there. And he re-enlisted, and soon... Barilaro was leading convoys in Iraq. He says they'd go out on missions. There'd be ambushes, gun battles. He saw friends getting blown up. Then they'd come back to the base, and the other troops would try to unwind by lifting weights or playing computer games. Barilaro would go straight to his room. I brought my studio condenser microphone. I had a Pro Tool software, you know, just a little basic headphones, a mic stand. And um, I put a little mattress on the wall, you know, to soundproof the room a little. Um, to get a clear recording. And he'd rap about what happened in the war that day. It's therapy. I get so lost into the music that I, I actually forgot where I was. And then when I finished the song, Oh my god. I'm in Iraq. Barilaro left the army in 2010. He had a handful of medals. So I put my war face on. Yeah, yeah. But there was no war face on anymore. Soldier Hard didn't have a mission. He was like thousands of other vets. His life started falling apart. I'm a combat veteran. They sent me for a way. They trained me to kill, to fight and form place. I serve hard, didn't complain, yeah, did my job. Now I'm back home, life now is hell hard. You know, I always feel that everyone's out to get me. I don't really want to talk to my family members. They will never understand me, but I can make music about it. Hit a backfire from a car, get jumpy, easily startled. I stay on my 
There are other troops who sing about their battles in Iraq and Afghanistan. Some do it with hip hop, some with country music. But Barilero focuses on his battles since he's come home. He can hardly sleep. His memory's shot. He'll talk with someone and then forget what they said. He does binge drinking. He pops Percocets. He yells at family members for no apparent reason. Barilero showed me his VA medical records. His songs come almost straight from the files. The VA's records show they diagnosed Barilero with severe PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. He'd been married 10 years, he had kids, he and his wife broke up. She says she's packing up and leaving, uh -huh. but still I don't respond. Uh -huh. Cause I don't feel a thing, uh -huh. like no became numb. Yeah. I used to be emotional, but now I'm emotionless. I used to be in love with her, but now I don't give a shh. I was so numb, I had a lot of hate in me. I wouldn't talk to her, I didn't say a word, you know? And if she would say something, I would just tell her, leave me alone. She was like, I'm trying, I'm, I want to understand and, and try and be there for you. I said, I don't want you to be here for me. We're back at the concert at the Indiana National Guard. After Barilero wraps up a set, he sits at a table piled with soldier hard t-shirts and CDs. He sells his albums on his own. He's got a website, people order online. Another site for veterans shows that his songs about military wives have gotten almost half a million hits. And here in Evansville, Indiana, fans are lined up for his autograph. S-T-A-G-G, stag. Got, got it. There's a thin young man standing at the edge of the crowd. His name is Keith Briggs. He's wearing a baseball cap. And he looks almost like he's trying to disappear. He says Soldier Hard's music saved his life after he came back from his second tour in Iraq. One night, I was at home. I had a loaded gun next to me. I was ready to end it all, and for some reason, I was on YouTube, and I found Soldier Hard's music on YouTube, and it kind of just put me at ease. In what way? I wasn't by myself. You know, and this is a normal reaction to what I've been through. And he is having hardships, too, but he expressed it through his music, and I could relate to that. The morning after the concert, Soldier Hard has turned back into Jeff Barilero. He's packing a suitcase and heading home to California. He's performed over the past year for vets in Seattle and near Miami. He's performed at a base in Germany. He says he'll fly wherever anyone wants to hear him. But Soldier Hard says his next big mission is to go back to psychotherapy at the VA. He had a handful of sessions last year, then stopped but he still wakes up from the same nightmare almost every night. It's the same, same dream all the time. My buddies are fighting, we're getting enemy contact, but I'm hiding, I'm scared, I don't want to show my body. You know, I, I threw my weapon down, I don't want to fight, and I'm crying. A song from Soldier Hard's upcoming album. It's called Therapy Session. Daniel Zwerdling, NPR News. You're listening to All Things Considered from NPR.